My time at the University of Bradford was a, a, a really important time in my life. Um, I was stationed at the Manning Manningham Lane um, Business Centre um, with a very lively group of um, MBA students or MSc students. Um, and it was really an induction into the whole business world. I think, you know, in some respects, uh, my subsequent career was greatly advantaged by that insight because I was working alongside some very dynamic young business people. I also liked the location. It was something slightly pastoral. We were very close to the moors. And I used to enjoy going into Bradford itself and um, having tea um, in Brown and Muss, which was a big department store downtown. So I have quite warm memories. And indeed, I did go into business for a very short period of time afterwards. But I think when I did become a financial journalist and an economic journalist, I think I felt that um, the accounting training that I received, the management training I received, the case history training, which is what management schools do, they teach you by looking at case, business cases, has been extraordinarily helpful, um, providing me with a kind of analytical background, which has been tremendously useful as a financial journalist. And I managed to get onto the Guardian graduate trainings, trainee scheme um, in my early 20s. And so I remained at The Guardian for 26 years. Um, and in, the, in those roles at The Guardian, I began as an economics writer. I was very fortunate, or some people may say unfortunate, because I got to be the main writer at the time of the 1976 sterling crisis, which really rocked Britain at the time. And Britain, as, you, as people may remember, had to go to the International Monetary Fund. It's one of the few Western democracies which has had to do that in recent modern times. And, I got to cover that particular event and I think it gave my career a real lift and from there I was able to leverage myself um, into the role of the junior person in the Washington Bureau of the Guardian which was a great privilege because um, in my um, private reading and my general reading um, American politics has always been one of the great fascinations of my life and I was given the opportunity to cover it firsthand and so I remained in Washington for nearly 11 years um, covering presidential elections, so I covered the election of um, Jimmy Carter's last election. I covered the um, election of President Reagan twice um, and George Bush Sr., um, his election. And then I came back to London um, after this long period in Washington in about 1989 and I was immediately put into the job of the Guardian's foreign editor. And again, um, it's not luck, but um, um, events seemed to lead my life in many ways because it was a period when um, the Berlin Wall came down, when Eastern Europe was opening up finally um, from the heavy hand of the Iron Curtain. It's a very exciting moment, exhilarating moment, those, those moments of time to see democracy flood over Eastern Europe. And for me it was particularly poignant because of, I come from a family which um, originated in, in Hungary on Hungary, Hungarian Czech border and to see these countries come out from under the iron glove of Soviet rule was a, was, a, was a very exciting moment for me. Hi, I'm Alex Brummer. I'm standing to be president of the board and I want your vote. Well, I'm very involved in the Jewish community because um, I, felt, I felt as, a, as somebody who came to this country um, um, whose parents' father came to this country as a, as a new immigrant in literally just before the war in 1939. I'm greatly privileged to live here and to be here and, and to be safe. And it's provided a great home for me. And I felt I needed to give something back to the community also, the Jewish community, which, which, which the Anglo-Jewish community, which has been a great friend to my family over the years. My own grandparents um, died in Auschwitz. That's my father's parents, his mother and father and two of his sisters and his niece were also in Auschwitz. Remarkably, um, they were shipped off from, to Auschwitz from Hungary in 1944, and remarkably, they all survived the terror of that place, even though um, they were subjected to some rather nasty practices while they were there. Um, and so it's a, it's a tale of survival, and, and, and that's obviously a very important part of my being.